At the start of the tour, the Parliamentary Committee made its first stop at the office of the Ochodonjupa governor, James Werikwa. There, Werikwa informed the committee members of the struggles in the charcoal industry, which has led to felt fires in the region. Workers in the charcoal industry in the region are also being exploited, he lamented, as they are paid peanuts while also working in health hazardous conditions. The governor also informed the MPs of the need to increase the rural electrification budget to ensure that the program is rolled out in all regions. Electricity these days is not a luxury, but an enabler of development. Now, constituencies will be lagging behind in terms of development if electrification is not something that we prioritize. The regional capacity in terms of senorit or the regional officers to be able to electrify those areas is stretched beyond limits because of the lack of finances. And as a result, one just wants to implore that it is something that Ministry of Mines and Energy, though they have been doing it, it is for a bigger allocation of budget to the Ministry of Mines and Energy to really, really double the effort as far as rural electrification is concerned. The meeting that was scheduled between the committee and the regional councillors did not take place as only one councillor showed up. Nonetheless, they met up with Sinoret, where the chief executive officer, Robert Kaimise, gave a presentation on the operation of the company. The MPs had questions for clarity. So I wanted to know uh, roughly the calculation is $34, $34, $34. Cents. How much may be calculation for the whole month? I understand that there is a problem to get Kabuki land, Kubuki. Kubuki. Kubuki land electrified uh, because of the hard stones underneath. Uh, what is the solution? Are you still going to do it or did you are you going to 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 to, to give it to someone to do it? When I followed the presentation. I uh, picked it up that um, the electricity unit in Khrothondain, 34 cents per each and every unit, am I right? Mm. Mm. When, you, when, 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 when it's sold or bought, then Khrothondain gets 34 cents per kilowatt hour. Yeah. Now, is it only Khrothondain or all the other towns under your jurisdiction? The MPs were pleased with Sinoret's social responsibility programs. They were also presented with Sinoret's last year's annual report. Evelyn Poles, NBC News, Oshua Rongo.